but need some time to self-destruct. I'll tell you what, Mom. Ross is holding a press conference over at WSBR. Why don't you just go check that out while I go warm up my senator's pillow? You know, I know why you treat me the way you do. Oh, I hope so, because you deserve it. But your father doesn't. Was it real easy to betray him, Blake? You know he is devoted to you. If you think that I am going to wallow in He this. would do anything for you. He deserved better than this. Oh, he deserved. You deserved. I deserved. I don't mean to wax philosophical, but that's a crock. We deserve what we get. Well, we'll see if you're still whistling that tune in a few weeks. And your threats are not going to stop me. That's for damn sure. I guess not. Daddy will forgive me. He will. Oh, what makes you think that he won't? After your latest? My latest what? What is it, Mother? What do you think you know? It's getting late. Well, for you, maybe. But for me, it's time to go sleep with the Senator. office you laid a few hints to Blake knowing that she would find it you're always thinking the worst of people Ross she would find it and hang herself with it mm. well she certainly didn't do herself any good did she but then she does have a penchant for getting herself caught in the act doesn't she red-handed what is it you want Roger justice and who better to give it to me than you the DA that is still the position you hold isn't it where are you going with this? Oh, no, it's still your job to prosecute crimes. Oh, I know. It is embarrassing, isn't it? To put your mistress in jail for helping you, but, hey, the law is the law. How did you get to be so twisted? And then there is the small matter of giving up your Senate seat, but easy come, easy go. What? It really is a mess, isn't it? I mean, I guess it would necessitate you're prosecuting yourself for conspiracy. Can you do that? You're a sick man. <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. I suppose the Justice Department would handle that. Conspiracy? To do what? Ah, uh, well, even if it doesn't stick, I think we can give what's left of your political career a unanimous thumbs down. Do you hate me that much? You're not easy to like. Do you hate me so much you'd send your daughter to jail? disappointed in you. I don't give a damn what you are, Roger. But, but how can you miss the point so completely? Good grief, Charlie Brown. It's staring you right in the face. You don't want me to prosecute Blake, do you? I would prefer to forget that that tape ever existed. And I'm sure you would once you're comfortably ensconced in Washington. You want me to be your stooge? I want you to be a splendid senator. Voting exactly as I tell you. Must be the drink talking. You can't possibly be serious. You know me better than that. I'd hardly be likely to pull your leg. So you want me to go happily off to Washington and be your lackey? Who said anything about happiness? I'm sure you'll be miserable. I'm counting on it. Too bad. It's not going to happen. It already has. I'll resign. Well, that won't solve your problem. See, if you were to quit, the public would demand knowing why. And you'd have to show them the tape. Yeah. In the national interest. Boy, imagine your humiliation. Imagine putting Blake on the stand. Well, you'd be hounded from public office. And I don't think private practice would be much of an option either. I mean, who would want to be represented by a fraud? 
Then there's the matter of disbarment. That's a distinct possibility. Are you finished? Hope you have something to fall back on. How are you at pumping gas? I think you're bluffing. <laughs> well, you haven't lost your sense of humor. That's good, because you're gonna need it. You wouldn't do something like this to your daughter. It's too cruel. From the moment she betrayed me, I ceased to have a daughter. You ruined her, Ross. You get to keep her. She's all yours if you want her. Whenever I think that you've hit bottom, you always sink low. One thing even you will admit. You ain't gonna get to the White House with Blake on your arm. One last caveat. I wouldn't let Blake in on our little agreement. What? Well, we both know how unstable she is. Oh, man, when she feels threatened... You and I do not have an agreement. Well, time will tell, I suppose. On the other hand, you don't have all that much time, do you? A couple of short months before you're swearing in. Just that long to choose between success and infamy. I can wait.